to another video on my channel. As you guys can tell, we are doing another $1 makeup haul from Shop Miss A. If you guys haven't seen my last video, go check it out. I reviewed some products of all $1 of price on my other video, so go check that out, guys. Um, today, I ordered a little bit more things to show you guys, not just makeup. I ordered, like, bags and, like, I don't know what I ordered, guys. Let's just see. So if you guys haven't heard of the website Shop Miss A, basically everything is $1 on their website. It ranges from makeup to bags to brushes, everything. I ordered a little bit of everything so I can show you guys today. So on the website it, it says that it takes about 5 to 7 days to ship. I got it in about 9 days, which is still not bad for the price. But guys, $1, I mean, you can't really go wrong. Okay guys, so I'm going to open this up. And they got new packaging. I ripped the opening and it's not open. I don't, I don't know. Ugh. When you open it, they have everything wrapped up nice and securely in some bubble wrap. But basically, it just gives you, you know, what you ordered and stuff. You guys don't need to see that because I'm going to show you guys anyway. Hopefully, this is all of it because I haven't opened this package since I got it. I got it about two days ago. And I ordered about like 25 items. So. Let, they have this really secured, like, there's, like, tape. I would have been happy just to get it out of the box already. Oh, another pack to open. Oh, you guys got a sneak peek of it already. Okay, almost ripped off about all my acrylics during the opening of this package, but we got it open, guys. So, as you can see, here's the stuff. I think that I it got everything, but let's go over the bags first because I got quite a few bags. Okay, guys, so the first bag that I got was this one. It is hashtag brow game because, you know, we need a box, a box, a bag to hold all of our brow products. But, yeah, guys, these are really good quality because my other ones that I have, I bought, like, a few of my other video, if you guys watch that. They're really good quality. They don't rip. The only bad thing that's that could happen is that the inside gets stained by, like, the brushes or something, but... That's about it, guys. One dollar. The next bag that I got was a makeup bag that says California. It's like the same as that, but this one just has a different saying on it. And I'm going to California in two days, so I thought this was cute to bring along with me and pack my makeup in. And the last bag that I purchased was this one. It's like a cool illusion. This is my favorite one that I got. Again, only one dollar. It's the same as the other ones, but I thought this one was super cute. Moving on to the next things. I got some weird stuff. So, the next thing that I got was a hairbrush okay the reason i bought a hairbrush i don't need one i just wanted to see like hairbrushes like this are like ten dollars at the store this was literally one dollar and i was like there's no way that this brush is okay like something's wrong with it but it looks fine so far let's open it guys one dollar one dollar are you kidding me what is going on it's all packaged and everything should have bought scissors because oh, we didn't need scissors guys this is like all fancy and stuff why oh oh what happened to that bristle in the middle oh two of them oh. but besides the fact that's missing a few bristle here and there let's try it out okay i see this brush it smells like the dollar tree but Besides that, it's great. I highly recommend this. <laughs> Moving on to the next product. The next thing that I got was, this is going to be really weird. Like, I saw this. I've never heard of it before. A nail mask, guys. Not for your, not a face mask. A nail mask. Okay, so the next thing I got was this concealer brush by e.l.f. Guys, I already own one of these, and these are the best brushes for carving out your eyebrows with concealer. Like, you know when you fill in your eyebrows and, like, you align it with concealer so it's like shapes more this is the best brush you can use guys i'm just repurchasing this because it was one dollar on the website in the store it's like three dollars so highly recommend this elf concealer brush if you do your eyebrows i ordered a lot of fake tattoos because i want to do a video where like all right first of all this is misleading <laughs> on the website these tattoos were about this big each i thought they're gonna be like a huge sheet of tattoos what 
what is this? Okay, so if you're planning on ordering tattoos, make sure you look at the size. These are so freaking small, but I'm still gonna do it. I wanted to cover my whole arm with tattoos and go in public or like prank someone with it or something. I already have tattoos, guys, as you can see, but I wanted to fill up my arm and see how it would look with them because I really want a sleeve, but I don't know if I'm ready for one. But guys, these were a dollar each. Honestly, this one looks worth a dollar, but these are not worth a dollar each. These together were three bucks. This is worth a dollar. These are not worth a dollar. <laughs> don't get these. Get the bigger sheets, guys. There's a little sack with like the makeup that I bought from the website. So I'm going to leave that until like at towards the end of the video. So let's just do the things that aren't makeup. Um, don't ask me why I bought this. I'm a crazy cat person and I needed a headband to do my makeup with in the morning to like pull my hair back. And I bought a cat ear headband, so we're gonna, um, yeah. This just happened, um, and I'm excited about it. So if you're weird like me and just like to wear weird things on your head, then I suggest it. Guys, it looked just like this on the website, so I'm not even mad about it. I'm just mad about how stupid I look with it. But who's here watching me do my makeup in the morning? Nobody, just me. So I'm gonna wear this for the rest of the video. All right, guys, the next thing I got was the Wonder Blender. I've heard some things about this. I heard that it's not good, but I wanted to try it out, and I bought my um, baking powder, the Airspun Loose Face Powder, to use it with. So I'm gonna open this up. I got the tan one. There's a black one and a tan one. So first of all, this thing is as hard as a rock, literally like, it's like barely even bending, look. Ooh, this thing is hard. I know people usually wet their beauty blenders, but when I bake, I don't wet it. I don't know if that's wrong, but I'm just gonna not wet this because I don't wet it usually. Okay, so it it works if you're baking like it sticks to the the sponge and it actually goes where you want it to go because a little angle right there so I like this for baking there's nothing wrong with it but I really don't recommend it if you're doing like foundation because I'm pretty sure you will give yourself a black eye if you're pounding this in your skin like all over your face all right So I like this for baking, and look guys, my cat ear headband is coming in handy because look, it's getting on here, not my hair. Highly recommend. <laughs> now that this bake has been sitting for like about five minutes, I ordered a fan brush, and I heard good things about this. Like all the um, recommendations were like, it's actually good and stuff, doesn't shed, which it is not shedding, because you know guys, I hate when brushes shed. I don't know if you guys know what that means. By shedding, I mean like, by shedding, I mean like when the hairs just fall out. This one, I don't see any shedding at all. So for $1, guys, I highly recommend this AOA Studio um, face fan brush, guys. Let's try to dust up our bake with this. All right, okay, so this is where it goes bad. This is so like, like gentle, like it won't rub the bake off, look. Like the bake is just sitting there until, unless I like hold it together and then brush it off. Okay, for some highlighter, this might be good. Like just brush on some highlighter, which I think it's for. But like brushing off bake, like it takes a long time. It still does it, but it leaves quite a bit on your face, which is not good. But if you guys use it for highlighter, I think it'll be better. That dusted off good. But like under your eye bake, it does not dust off good. But overall, I would give this brush a try. It's only $1, and these are usually expensive to buy at stores, so I recommend this face fan brush. All right, guys, our next product ties in with face spray. If you guys set your face, I use the Mario Badescu Rose Water Facial Spray when I finish my makeup, so after I'm done baking, I'll usually spritz that on my face. Okay, that didn't work out. First of all, this material is ripping off, so that's not good, but I mean, I ripped it off, not really noticeable, who cares? All right, so how do people open it like all cool, like, almost got it, wait, wait, wait. So basically I set my face with this, and then right after that you don't want it to just sit there because it'll like show that your face is wet, so to cool it off, 
Oh, guys, it actually works really good. Oh my god. Ooh, I love it. Honestly, this dried my face perfectly. I know there's like a little bit of like strands hanging out, but like someone made this with their hands, so it's gonna have some flaws. So the last product that I bought that was not makeup was another fan brush, but I bought this one specifically for highlight. It's just like the other one, but much smaller and used for highlighter. So that one I'm pretty sure was used to brush off your bake and stuff like that. This one is used for highlighter, which honestly I think I'm gonna use like a lot because I always was looking for one of these. They're always sold out, but on the website they were in stock, guys. So run over there, get you a mini highlight brush. I'm gonna test it out right after I grab my Fenty Beauty highlighter. I grabbed this. I'm gonna test it out. I don't know if you can see, like, it weird, went on weird spots. Let's see if this works, though. Hold on. Are you ready, guys? All right, so, oh, it actually does work kind of good. Wait. There we go. There we go. It takes a few dips because the hairs are so fine on this, like, it's hard to pick up product. And this Fenty Beauty highlighter, maybe it's just a highlighter because it's more like a cream highlighter and not like a loose one, so maybe it's just hard to attach to this, but I think this brush works good, and it puts it in like the place that it needs to go. I like it, guys, highly recommend. Now moving on to the part you've all been waiting for, the makeup. I bought like some eyebrow products and a lot of lip products, so let's get to trying those. So the first lip product that I bought was this Amuse Cosmetics um, lipstick in the shade Pink Lady and I was iffy about getting this because pinks do not do well on my skin whatsoever and I'm gonna break this packaging trying to get it out. There's no need for it to be so hard to open a makeup, a lipstick that is like online ordered like no one's gonna open it in the store because they don't sell it in stores. Screw this. I'm literally gonna break this lipstick in half. Finally got it open guys. Sorry if the lighting changed. I had to readjust it because it's dark outside now as you guys can tell. But yeah. Alright, so this is what the lipstick looks like. It looks cheap in my opinion. Like it looks like a kid's makeup and it's like about to break at the base. But I already know this color is going to look stupid on me because I look dumb with pinks on my lip because of my skin color. It just doesn't look good. Like I look better with orangey toned ones. But I know this is going to be a no-go. Alright, first swatch, it's very pigmented, so that's good. Actually, just kidding. I did one stripe on the top, and you can barely see it. But, like, two coats will be good. The online comparison to this color does not look like this. It looks way orangey, like, more orangey. So, I would not have gotten this if I knew it looked like a Barbie lipstick, because I don't like those on my face. But, yeah, guys, if you guys like this, like color of lipstick then I recommend it for you but it is not for me and also I think it's supposed to be a matte lipstick which is misleading if it is because this is not matte I don't know if it's supposed to be but if it is it's definitely not matte okay so now that that is gladly removed from our face we're gonna try the next lipstick which is more of an orangey shade as you can tell it is called sunset and it is by amuse cosmetics this one was way easier to open and it kind of looks more like the packaging Still has that cheap look to it, but let's try it out. I'm scared to like roll it up too high because I think it's gonna like fall off when I put it on my mouth. Hi Xavier. All right, so this one automatically, I like the color more, but it's a bit less pigmented, so you're gonna have to layer it on, but I still like the color way more than the other one. On video, it looks more pink than it actually is. In real life, it looks more orangey, but I think I would wear this with like a gloss over it or something, not as like, much maybe I'll just like dab it on but I like the lipstick color the quality is not good like it almost stabbed my lip like the tip of this was so sharp but like that's all obviously gonna dull down but like I like this lipstick but not the quality of it next we're doing something a little bit different in the last um miss a shop miss a haul I did a lip tattoo but this is a different color this is an orangey shade which I like the other one was like dark red which is a no-go. Back at it again with this freaking unbreakable packaging. So we are gonna apply this and I'm gonna like, I don't know what I'm gonna do for the rest of the video because I can't talk when this is on my lip. So let's see how it goes. Should I be looking in a mirror? 
or like something. Alright, the last lip product we're going to try is this Rosehip Lip Balm Honey Essentials. I heard a lot of good things about this for being the price that it was. And I read the reviews and they were super good. Okay, this packaging. So basically, it's this little lip balm in a can, I guess that's what you can call it. And I'm going to use some right now. Do you like put it on your lips like this or are you supposed to use your finger? I never know. Okay, so this, the only bad thing I heard about it was that the smell is strong, which honestly, I don't think is strong. It just smells like rose, which is called rose hip, so why wouldn't it? But it's like super good, like it goes on good. There's like lipstick under my nail, as you can see, what? I don't know how that got there. But it like goes on good, and it feels super good too, so I highly recommend this, only $1, go get it. Alright guys, so the last products that I got were two eyebrow products. The first one I'm going to try out is the Wonder Brow, wait, oh this is called Cub Brow, the one that I got from Benefit. I was like, did they just steal each other's names? The Wonder Brow by AOA Studio, it is a pomade. I thought it was going to be bigger in person, but it's not, but I mean, let's see, it goes pretty down far in the container but let's try it out I'm just like filling in some spaces that were like not as filled in well, I kind of like this product I can't really tell because I do have products on my eyebrows right now I'm gonna try it on my hand all right yeah that's a pretty good like it's not streaky or anything I like this product as long as you have a good brush because it doesn't give you a brush so you need a very pointy brush I recommend the one by benefit that comes in the Cabral um, container because it's super sharp so as long as you have a sharp brush I think any pomade would work and honestly for one dollar I really like this product and the last product is the go brow brow gel I ordered a brow gel last time and I absolutely love it I use it every day I even use it this morning so I thought I would try another one this one has is a small spoolie like it's half the size of the other one but I'm gonna try it out Okay, that's like actually good. Guys, see, their eyebrow gels are super good. I don't know why, like it's just so good. You can even, t you can see all the eyebrow hairs that it's going through and it just makes it stay all day long. All right, so it's the next day and I use both of the eyebrow products to do my eyebrows and this is how they look. Okay, this is gotta go. I mean, I love it. I'm gonna use it every time I get ready, but it's gotta go for now. All right guys, so that is the end of the video. I hope I answered some of your questions about cheap Oh, ready? Cheat! Ah! Guys, it broke! So, um, yeah. I'm kind of sad because this is like my favorite item. So, like, what? But yes, guys, I pretty much liked everything that I bought, except a few things had a little bit of problems, but nothing too major. I hope you guys liked this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And comment down more video recommendations. I love you all so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys!